Bubba, don't pay me enough for this shit. Hello? What? My house is on fire. Oh, shit! I guess the psycho part in your name now makes sense. Oh yeah. Now we're talking 9100. Got $105 here. None! You stick it down in my flap. Green's human fluid stained wall! Yeah. I think this is a good place for me to make a video. Let's begin. The early days of John Cena. Now I'm going to start this thing out by saying that I actually didn't see John Cena's debut live or any of that shit. The fact of the matter is, I actually heard about John Cena way into his career. Well, technically, I heard about him on a video game called Smackdown Here Comes the Pain. Smackdown Here Comes the Pain. But that doesn't really count because that's not real life. Yeah, I actually did see a few early things with him versus Carlito, but not much. You see, my problem with John Cena back in the past is that he was on SmackDown, and SmackDown was on UPN, and I didn't have UPN, nor did I know anybody who had it, so I didn't see shit with SmackDown. At that point in time, I was actually a big, and don't you criticize me for this, but I was a big Bautista guy. I don't know, he's what I had, all right? So Batista was my man. I was happy Batista went on to become the World Heavyweight Champion, and you know what happened after that? John Cena was drafted, and Batista ended up going to SmackDown. This tainted me on John Cena 
instantly. Now I'm supposed to like this guy that comes in with a bunch of rap music crap? That's not where my problem began. My problem with John Cena actually started when I seen the bullshit he was putting out. Now let's go into some things here and say, does anyone remember Rocky Maivia? Too good to be true, shit didn't stink, was always happy even after losing a match? Well that was John Cena. I respect you, I John Cena, I'm not realistic. He was never real. And every time anybody would try anything against him, say a bad guy was trying to fight him or something, he would never, ever budge. Oh, I know that's been seen before, right, Hulk Hogan, right, in the 80s? Before NWO and Degeneration X and Stone Cold and The Rock, it worked then. But in this era, that shit was long past and nobody wanted that. He comes out there like a G.I. Joe figure and he's like, Out of trial! Not trial! Be his here! I forgot to finish my word. So, it started off shitty. John Cena went on after that just winning match after match after match after match. When he would lose, people would be shocked. I think this was around 2004, 2005. Something like that. But this is the, the years where John Cena was just, he was on fire, I guess you could say, more than anybody I'd ever seen in my life. It was bullshit. Now this one's gonna be a quick one, guys, because it's just the starting point of John Cena's career, and I don't have too much to say about that besides how I first discovered him. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and all that shit. I'll see you next time on Sit Down Time with Gaggins.